What the f Bro, it had to be like 20 mile an hour wind, dude. It just had to be. All right, CFMers, NFC Championship game. We are playing Saint. This is the same spot we were in circa one month ago. We played Saint in the NFC Championship game. We got hit with the double fumble on our first drive. We wound up losing that game to Saint. Saint, honestly, one of the best players in the world this year. He's an up and coming Madden player. If you had to point to one player that I think that hasn't made live events, that would make one next year. Saint is one of those guys for sure. He's been grinding the game, and it's funny that he's one of the guys I've seen be been a kid, kind of weak, kind of weak, get better, better, better. Now he's a lord. You know, he's consistently putting grinding on the game, getting better and better, and taking it serious. He's uh, one of the best players this year, without a doubt. Uh, so we got to try to get this dub. Revenge last year's performance, without a doubt. One of the biggest differences from last year to this year is we got rid of JFK, John Franklin Myers. We replaced him with Dre Greenlaw. That's going to give us a little bit more athleticism at the defensive end spot. Uh, watching back that NFC Championship game from last year, we realized our D-line was super slow. We're going to get a boost this year. We're going to get a boost. We're going to get a little bit more speed out there. We're going to get a little more athleticism chasing Trevor Lawrence. Let's take a look at his team. He, I feel like he made some moves here. Because he had Marquez Valdez Scantling, but looks like he... I Actually, the last guy I played had him. So maybe he traded Marquez. Let's take a look. Obviously, still has Trevor Lawrence up to 85 speed somehow. He's got uh, no real good running back. Solid. Then he's got Quentin Johnson, Darius Slayton, and Joshua Gilmore. 84 overall player here. Joshua Gilmore. He just has short and elite, so he's going to struggle to get off the press. We're going to have Quentin Johnson here, short in, short out. So he'll be able to beat the press. And Darius Slayton will probably have the same two abilities. Yeah, short in, short out. So we got to remember Gilmore number 82 is the guy without short out. So we can press him and he won't beat it instantly. You got to remember these things. Number five is Slayton and number seven. So single digit numbers will beat the press. Number 82 will not beat the press. DJ Shark, he has him too. But, but shoot, number eight... <laughs> Number, hold up. Number 82 is 98 speed, though. So we got to be careful. Regardless, we got to be careful. David Njoku, let's see if he has red zone threat on him. He does not have red zone threat, so I don't have to worry about that as much in the red zone here, but that's a good thing. Let's look about his defense. Marlon Humphrey, Shavarius Sh Ward, Dominique Rogers, Cromartie is probably the legend that he added. I'll be honest, kind of a violation. I wouldn't call DRC a, a Giants legend. You know, just a Madden cheese player. So that's going to be tough. Isaiah Rogers. So really, really, really fast secondary here. He's got some really good players in the secondary. We'll see. Let's get it, boys. NFC Championship game. Vikings third playoff game in a row on the road. Let's get it. All right, we don't get the ball first. That's good. We get the ball at half. I remember last time we played, he went down the field. He didn't go down the field, but he like, you know, he drove. and We made it work. Ooh, get there. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Let's no way. No, Dean. No way. That's not a pick. No way! Oh my god! I know what I want to do here. If he's gonna block his tight end, I almost want to put, and I might do this later in the game, boys. I want to put dots in at linebacker to really scream, and those tight end can't block him. And. Short knockout. Let's go. Come on. Come on, man. Come 
man. God damn. God, we had a, such a pick right there. With my best DB. My best DB, we had such a god pick, dude. Man. Dog, run the f route, bro. Are we serious here? Willis, who are you blocking? I mean, God, man. I mean, dog, it's just, we're just so bad. Man. I gotta play defense, play offense, bro. I'm just like missing reads left and right, dude. I'm like a little girl right now. Dude. Stay up, please. Why do you fight that hard? I didn't press any button to fight, and you're fighting your off. Oh. What the f Bro, it had to be like 20 mile an hour win, dude. It just had to be. What the f Somebody picked the f ball off, man! There it is. Pick it off! There, there it is. You're just not going to block the tight end. Put my edge threat on the tight end and we'll be good here. Come on! Come on. I knew I had to do that sooner than later. Put Dotson over the tight end so he can't block the tight end. And Dotson's starting to kill. Come on, boys. The whole team is there, man. Come on. A little bit better, boys. Come on. Bro, that mother is so fast, man.
I mean, dog, where's my other side? Like, how was he just... He randomly, randomly pinches his line, dude. I, oh my god, just the first time all game he pinches his line. First time all game we pinch our line, dude. <laughs> Come on. Short knockout. Oh, pip, pip. oh my god. Oh, god, he's getting these passes up, bro. No fucking way. Who did we bump into? Like, what happened that that was a bomb, man? God, good throw. My safety just gets molly whopped like that. Oh man, we're getting some great pressure. He's throwing at the last second. We're playing good defense, bro. That was that was a good throw, man. Man, come on, Willis! Move! Like we got an onside kick here, cause like field goal, I still got life, a tough life, but it's still life. I'm not going to overtime. I'm not going to overtime, dude. I'm not playing for overtime, dude. Keep it. God, bro, like I just like get out bounce, dude. My man Dotson has to block, get by the tight end here. No way, man. Like, how are we this? I swear to God, like, my guys just bump into the f zones I put out here, man. Bro, Dotson, there's just no way you're getting whipped by the f tight end right now. Just no way in f hell you're getting whipped by the tight end. Hey, rock it. My dog, my boys are just getting f***ed, bro. Oh my god, like my zone, like dog, just absolutely whipped. Like play action is just deading everything, man. Oh.
Good game, bro. Come in. Just, I mean, I need more under that throw, too, man. Ass right here. I mean, dog, he's just making the most ridiculous throws, just like under pressure, just easy. God, damn, I feel like we just had somebody free every play. He's just throwing that with them right in his face over and over and over. Just boom, boom, boom. Just a terrible first quarter. Drop one pick. We just get it to us, bro. We just get super flustered. Bro, I can't stop this mother. We do get a stop and we can't catch first drive. Easiest pick all year. and We drop it because we don't have pick artists. You know, because the game, you need pick artists. Let's go, pick artists. Bro, what happened to our boy Dotson? Was he not humming? After that first time I put him at goddamn linebacker, he was humming. Yeah, like Dotson was doing this all game. And then what happened in the second half? Was he just out of the, he was out of the game the second? Look at all this shit you can't see. Look at it. What's the point of this stupid ass system? All right, boys, CFM is over. Tough loss. Definitely out of character, letting one play frustrate me for a whole quarter. Missed some reads on the first drives uh, because that one drop pick is like, I've played Saints so much, and when I saw that DB in front of the receiver, I counted the pick in my heart. I counted the stop. I counted the win. I was ready to go. I, that felt so good, finally baiting him to make a bad read, a bad pass, and we didn't come up with it. Definitely flustered me. That's one thing I pride myself in is not being flustered by the previous play, but definitely had a bad performance here in those first two drives after that drop pick. We fought what we could, but ultimately going down 17 against a player like that consistently you're not going to win. You're not going to win. So let me know. Did you guys love Viking CFM? We did not get a Super Bowl. We did bring them to the playoffs three of the four years. We started with a terrible team, built them up, got some huge draft picks, got some huge upgrades, some huge progression for players. Obviously, did you guys love this series? Two, do we spark CFM right away in Madden 24? Let me know. I appreciate you guys. Madden 24 is two days away. So we're here, boys. It's time.